Good evening, YouTube, people, world, everywhere, wherever you're at. Anyway, didn't really get much done today. Mainly been, uh, just went to town, did a lot of shopping. Went to my brother-in-law's house. Hung out there for a while. A long while. Um, anyway, just want to go over some project crap that I got to do. So as you guys know, I got that shipping container. I'm running 8 foot LED lights in there. So I got two installed. And I thought that was going to be plenty enough. And apparently it's not. Barely even did the first half. And then uh, I went today. So this was yesterday's trip. I bought the two lights. I bought these things. So the plan, the plan is, is they want, I think like 70 bucks for one of these. These were 10 bucks. So I bought two of them. One there, one there. So they want 70 bucks for uh, one of these with a little fan inside. So I have these fans from my 3D printer. And uh, they're one point or point two three amp 12 volt. So the little uh, solar powered, uh, the little solar power battery chargers that I used for uh, for my truck or the toy hauler to keep the battery charged and for the uh, for the little solar pan the gate openers so that does turn that turns it just fine um, but what I ended up doing and what I'm going to end up doing is I just need them to run during the day when it's hot so I'm gonna put two of those up one there and then the other one uh, drill a hole in the top glue these down um, I'll probably use some uh, some type of sealer oh man yeah anyway, I've been sleeping pretty much we got home about two hadn't eaten in anything brain is fried I'm cooked so we're doing that went to Harbor Freight Harbor Freight was having a deal on this so it's a power inverter it was I think it's a hundred and seventy nine dollars and they had a coupon for 119 let me look let me look let me look at this thing Okay, so a hundred and sixty-seven dollars coupon for hundred nineteen, and it's a sine wave, sine wave, S-I-N-E, sine wave. So it's more, uh, it's better for computers and stuff. But anyway, bought this inverter, twenty percent off, and uh, bought a solar hundred watt solar panel, which is right there. Um, big old black widow I found in the barn and something else anyway so got the solar panel oh that's what I was going to tell you so that solar panel was $189 with the coupon uh, so $189 so when they rang me up they actually gave me the 20% off so it ended up being um, uh, hundred and fifty nine dollars or hundred and sixty dollars. So it was uh that caught me off off guard because I thought they didn't register or ring me up something. So I'm gonna do solar panel, the four solar panels. It comes. I'll do a video on this setup of this thing, unboxing whatever you want. Um. And then uh, controller box, lights. So what I'm going to end up doing with the two lights, instead of using the LED lights, 
the two LED lights because I'm going to have regular lighting in there. So I'm going to have these two fans hooked up. So the two fans will be hooked up as opposed to the light. Um, because, uh, yeah, I don't know, because it'll be on most of the time. Um, I also picked this up because I've been wanting to get one of these for the trailer. It's a sway control kit. So they had it open boxed for 15 bucks. And all it's missing is that black ball, which my trailer already has. So, um, but yeah, it came with the bracket, this bracket, it came with the chrome ball, some screws, and, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what this, uh, other black thing is, but it didn't come with that. It came with the clips and everything else, so I'll have to... I'll have to figure out what that black thing is and hopefully it's not too important. Um, but anyway, for use on trailers with the gross trailer weight up to 6,000 pounds with class 3, class 4 hitches only. Not for use with trailers with surge brake. I don't know what a surge brake is. Um, but anyway. So yeah, that's the only pieces it was missing was this black ball and this piece and it didn't have all the screws but my trailer already has the black ball and that. I just needed this, this and the clips. And like I said, I don't know what that black thing is. Hopefully it's not important. If it is important, then uh, maybe I can just make one. So anyway, went and did all that, got all that crap, all this stuff, um, and uh, bought some organizer trays, because I got bolts and nuts and bolts and stuff everywhere, and uh, my toy hauler right now I'm using uh, on the battery, right now it's just regular terminals that are cut, and then I have the uh, connectors tied into there so pick these up at Walmart three bucks um, I'm gonna have to go pick up two more however because I got another thing I'm gonna be doing the battery that's on the toy hauler is an AGM or AMG battery which is gonna go good for this solar panel and then I'm gonna buy two Acid batteries from Walmart. They're only 54 bucks. And, uh, yeah. So I'm sure there'll be videos of this getting all set up. Um, those being put in. The lights, the power. I already ran it. I didn't do it on camera because it was dark in there. You can't see anything. It's dark. So you can't see. And all it is is echoing like crazy in there. It's like, blah, 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 blah. Especially with my annoying voice, it was echoing, echoing twice as bad. So, and then also picked up uh, the dirt bike. It's my uh, brother-in-law's. He gave it to me. Got into an accident, car accident, and uh, now he can't ride. And he wants to park two cars in his garage. So he's trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And I told him to sell it. Told him to get rid of it. Told him I didn't really want it. I wanted it, but I I don't really want it. Um, but anyway, I told him I'd take it. It's a 2005 Honda 450. Um, I had one. This is identical to the bike that I had, except for my bike had a bunch of twerks and other things done to the bot done to the engine carburetor. <clears throat> but it's a really clean bike. He's had it for a long time. Hasn't been hasn't ridden it or started it in two years because that's when he got into his accident. So he knows he knows I take care of stuff. So I think that's why he 
and gave it to me. But anyway, like I say in a lot of my videos, brother-in-law is pretty cool. He's a really cool, nice guy. And, uh, you know, I always say thanks. Thanks to him. You know, like when my family got evicted. Yeah, not evicted. I keep saying that. Evacuated. Um, they went and stayed at his house. He came and helped my wife and kid uh, go. When I first moved to Colorado. We ended up staying with them for a while. Um, anyway, just a real nice guy. Um, got nothing bad to say about him at all, ever. Uh, but anyway. So, yeah, he ended up giving it to me and, uh, we'll see what happens. Another, not project, but another thing to, to add to my list. Thank you, Trey Mungo. Um, but anyway. And that's his ramp. That ramp, I don't know about this ramp. That's some sketchy stuff. I'd rather do the old style dirt bike stand than this. Because, uh, yeah, I felt like I was going to put my leg through there. But anyway, that's for like, uh, what do you call those? Uh, ATVs and lawnmowers and stuff to load them in a truck. It's kind of sketchy, but I'll stick to the old single rail ramp if i ever end up doing i'll probably just put it around cruise it up and down the mountains so anyway another project 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 what can i say so anyway uh tomorrow i'm gonna head into town tomorrow morning will be sunday Head into town, go to the Schwat meet, I'll try to bring my little GoPro, see if I can't do a little video of me walking around for you wanting Glenn. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I also have stuff and coming in for the toy hauler. I got the vent for the stove microwave. I got the pipe vent caps I got this lap sealant <clears throat> stuff I have the refrigerator vent and then uh, a couple fan blades are going to be coming in eventually and uh, yeah so I got work to do I got projects I got stuff way over way over my head especially when I gotta go to the grocery shopping with the wife because we live in Southern California and I don't trust people so I go with her so she's safe but anyway yeah fun fun times oh I also picked up uh, some scrapers at the AutoZone because I had to spend 20 bucks so I can get my $20 reward so I bought these they're supposed to be through all the way through metal so you can tap them but they don't feel like it they feel kind of hollow in here but uh, yeah like this one feels solid this one feels hollow and this one feels solid so I'm kind of wondering if that just isn't in all the way Maybe. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it wasn't in. That was weird. But anyway, pick those up for like 11 bucks, 12 bucks at AutoZone. So, Harbor Freight, don't buy this. This is junk. Barely ever works. It works. It works enough to run power, but it doesn't work enough. It barely even started my my generator on my toy hauler, which is a little. Itty bitty starter. Um, amen. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go and eat dinner. It's almost nine o'clock. I came home two o'clock, eight, and then I crashed. I was out. Um, I did start cleaning the barn. Got a bunch of wood and stuff out. Found that big old black widow. Um, that was all this morning. So tomorrow, go swap meet. Walmart. 
maybe Harbor Freight again to look at something that I forgot to look at today and then come home hang out with the family for a little bit pack my crap and then uh, start doing lights and stuff because I gotta pack I gotta leave Monday morning alright guys that's gonna be it for this video subscribe comment do what you guys do thank you for subscribing and uh, yeah see you guys in the next video alright guys later